In this video we're going to look at some core 2 integration revision. So hopefully we're at a stage where we should know how to integrate these two uh, integrals. But if we're not, then hopefully this video will iron out any problems that you're having. So we have two examples here. The first one, because there are no limits on the integral, is an indefinite integral. Okay? So that's what it's referred to. This is an indefinite integral, and this is a definite integral, because this one has limits, and so I need to evaluate it. So the first thing to do is to write each element as x to the power of something. It's much easier to integrate it in that way. So I'm going to write this as the integral of 6x squared plus x to the power of a half, rather than root x, take away 3x to the power of minus 2, rather than 3 over x squared. I'm now ready to integrate. So add 1 to the power and divide by the new power. So 6x cubed divided by 3 plus x to the power of 3 halves divided by 3 halves. Take away 3x to the power of minus 1 divided by minus 1. And because it's an indefinite integral, I must add on a constant of integration. So plus c. Now, I need to simplify this, because at the moment it looks absolutely horrible. So I would have 2x cubed there. That would be 2 thirds x to the 3 halves, because dividing by 3 halves is the same as multiplying by 2 thirds. And dividing this through by minus 1 means I've got plus 3x to the minus 1 now. And that is the integral of the original function. Okay, So that's how we go about this. Let's have a look at number 2, because we want to make sure we get our notation right as well. So the first thing to do is to rewrite this as x to the power of something. So this will be the integral between 1 and 8 of 5x to the power of minus 1 third. Okay? So that is 5 over cube root of x. Now we're ready to integrate. Now we put what we are integrating into square brackets because we are also evaluating it. So we're going to add 1 to the power. So adding 1 to minus a third is 2 thirds. And I'm going to divide by the 2 thirds. And I'm evaluating that between 1 and 8. The limits of the integral now go on the right-hand side of the box. Now, let's tidy that up, because dividing by 2 thirds is the same as multiplying by 3 halves. So this is 15x to the 2 thirds over 2. That's 5 times 3 halves, evaluated between 8 and 1. So I'm going to substitute in 8 first and then 1. So open two sets of brackets. Substituting in 8, I have 15 times 8 to the power of 2 thirds divided by 2. And I have 15 times 1 to the power of 2 thirds divided by 2. Okay. So ordinarily, I would use a calculator here. Now, 8 to the power of 2 thirds, 8 to the power of a third is 2, 2 squared is 4, 4 divided by 2 is 2, so 2 lots of 15 is 30. So that will evaluate to 30, that first bracket. And then the second bracket, we've got 15 times 1 to the 2 thirds, that's just 15 over 2, so minus 15 over 2, or 15 halves. Okay, and then finally, 30 take away 15 halves gets us 45 halves. Okay? So 45 over 2, or 22.5. And that is the evaluated integral here. So take note of the notation, the square brackets, the uh, brackets I've used there in order to show how I've substituted the numbers in. It's all very, very useful, because the integrals that we're going on to are going to be much, much more complicated. 